Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about escrow.com and more specifically, I'm going to try to answer a question that I'm getting a lot on my other video and that is, is escrow.com safe to use? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is going to be a really quick video, but I'll give you a couple of pointers based on my experience, what you need to consider if you're running a transaction through escrow.com, but why would you want to use escrow.com? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're buying websites or businesses on flipit.com, or various things on the internet, escrow.com is a popular way to buy and sell items. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's all handled here in the escrow.com website. Check my video description. I'll try to leave more information there. But to answer the question, is escrow.com safe to use? I would say generally, yes, it is. However, one thing you really want to consider is escrow.com is only a third party company set up to kind of help protect the buyer and the seller during a transaction. And to be honest with you, they don't really do too much, depending on whatever type of transaction you're going to be conducting, they only go off of what the contract says. So before you go into a transaction on escrow.com, whether you're buying an item or whether you're selling an item, make sure that you have a really good contract set up before you send it over to escrow.com. Because if you get into a dispute with the buyer or with the seller, escrow.com, they basically just stay out of it. They just say, well, whatever the contract says, that's what we're gonna do. So they're gonna hold the money until everybody agrees on what the next step is. So escrow.com is only as safe as the contract that you use. So for example, I went to purchase one of these websites on flippa.com. I was buying a YouTube channel, you can see for $3,600. And and I ran into a problem where the seller just quit responding. So I had already deposited my money into escrow.com and I was waiting for them to transfer the channel and everything over to me. And they just kept delaying, delaying. And I asked escrow.com to go ahead and cancel the transaction. They wouldn't cancel it because there was nowhere in my contract that says that person has to close within a certain amount of days. So basically my money was just tied up in escrow.com. I couldn't get a refund until the seller signed off on it saying they did not want to sell their channel to me. So there was basically nothing I could do. So that's a great example of what you need to consider if you're thinking if escrow.com is safe to use. Had I had a contract set up or at least some sort of a sentence or a phrase saying that if the seller didn't transfer the website or the YouTube channel or whatever to me within, let's say, seven days, then I have the right to go ahead and immediately cancel the transaction and get a refund. If I had that in my contract, then there wouldn't have been a problem, but I ended up waiting maybe a month for the seller to finally just sign off and cancel the transaction. So that was kind of annoying because I wanted to buy another property, but I couldn't because that money was tied up in my escrow.com. So as you can see, escrow.com, it's only as safe as the contract that you have set up. So when you are buying or selling something, make sure that you have your attorney or somebody who's really versed in contract set up that contract, that purchase agreement before you go into a contract with escrow.com. Now, as far as getting robbed on escrow.com, I've never had an experience with that. So in my opinion, it is safe. Once I make the deposit into escrow.com, they are not going to transfer that money to the seller unless you sign off on it. Also, another thing you want to consider is on escrow.com, a lot of times they kind of push you to continue on with the next step. So when they tell you just deposit the money, deposit the money or sign off that you received it, you don't want to sign off on anything or click any buttons on escrow.com unless you're completely sure that step is ready to move forward. For example, I kept getting a lot of emails from escrow.com. You need to confirm that you receive the property. You need to confirm because they're just set up on kind of like a calendar. So these automated reminders just automatically go out whether or not you receive the property that you are buying through escrow.com or from another party and using escrow.com. And it could be easy where you accidentally click a button and say, yeah, I, I agree to it. And if you do that accidentally saying that you received the merchandise, then the timeline is just going to start moving right along. And it is possible that your money gets sent out to the seller before you've actually received whatever you're buying. So make sure that you read through those notifications thoroughly before you start clicking on any buttons. But ultimately, uh, just to answer the question, is escrow.com safe to use? I would say yes, it definitely is, but you need to be aware of it. You can't just start clicking away on buttons or just open up a transaction. Definitely set yourself up with a good purchase contract. Now that's whether you're on the buyer or seller side before you open up a transaction with escrow.com. So there you have it, guys. That's my personal experience. If you're wondering, is escrow.com safe to use? If you had a different experience, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.